Welcome back to my channel. So during today's video, I'm going to be doing a look using the Smoke and Roses ColourPop eyeshadow palette, which is the the uh, rosy pink tone eyeshadow palette. This one came out around Christmas time, but I have not dived into it yet, so I wanted to do a look today using this eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, which is the norm for me, but I do know I am going to be doing something on the pink mauvey side, which I love. So let's start out with the shade. Let's see. I don't know. <laughs> let's start out with um Alone, which is the one, two, three, fourth matte shade on the second row. And I'm taking my Makeup Shack T68, this large fluffy brush. And we're just gonna place this all in our crease area. And I prime my eyes with my Plan and Makeup by Yolanda eyeshadow base in the shade Foundation. And I did not set them this morning, but we're gonna go ahead and place this shadow all into our crease area. So nice, <clears throat> I'm sorry, soft pink. These allergies have started back acting up. And no matter what I do, they're horrible all year round. I have those seasonal allergies, and they are the worst. Like, the worst. So I'm going to continue to um, add this shadow in my crease area. I like how soft and pink it is. A nice transition shade. I'm just going to go out just a little bit. I'm just packing it a little bit more. And I'm going to start diving into some of those eyeshadows that I took out that I said I want to pan. Because they're still sitting over here looking at me and I'm looking at them. <laughs> I just need to get some use out of them. So we're going to continue to pack these shadows. Um into the crease area and I'm just gonna randomly talk about this new Morphe eyeshadow palette I really do want it the sweetest tea palette sweetest tea something like that <laughs> it's really really pretty but I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes because I'm trying to use the ones I have but that thing's like so pretty so pretty and if any of you are interested in and it's sitting here in my palette and it's random while I'm doing this the Jaclyn Hill Divine Nutris is currently $10.80 on their website. If any of you are interested in it, um, that's a nice palette too. So now I'm just going to lightly blend the pink. I just thought about this since it's sitting over here um, still on my vanity from when I used it. So I'm just going to pack a little bit more. But yeah, again, I do want that palette but I want to wait until they have a sale and I do want those other two nine pan palettes but I feel like the last nine pan palette more of that pinkish tone is really really pretty but I feel like those colors are similar to some of the colors in that sweetest tea palette but you never know until you get your hands on it but both all three of them are really really pretty so I'm going to continue to pack this shade on my lid so now I'm gonna go in with where's my brush I don't know <laughs> the new one for me we're gonna go in with the uh, Morphe Y17 brush and what I want to do now I want to go in with the let's do the second third second third matte shade on the second row and it is pretender and we're going to apply this right in the crease area but not as high as this first shade and we're going to just start blending it lightly directly into the crease area right on top of that baby pink shade to add a little more depth to decrease. 
doing the same thing and I'm applying it on the tip of the brush so I can concentrate it right in that crease area. I'm going to take a little bit more on the crease area and apply it directly into the crease again to build it up a little bit more because I always start with a light hand so I can control the product and how much I'm placing on my lid because it's easy to get kind of out of hand and carried away. But it's really coming together pretty. And I love ColourPop eyeshadows as well. And I've been trying my best to stay away from their site. Because they come out with so much. And I think I'm just addicted to ColourPop as well. So that is coming together and performing pretty together like really really pretty together so I'm just making sure this shadow is like right in that crease area like I want it and I'm just lifting my eye a little bit and you can keep going back and forth till you get it to your liking because that's all I'm doing now is just lightly tapping into the shade until I get the crease area as deep as I want it Cause I know me, if I just apply some shadows and just slap them on my lid with a whole lot of pigmentation, I'll be sitting here forever trying to blend. So I like to lightly build my shadows. So now I'm going to go back in with the Makeup Shack T68. I'm not adding any more product, but I am going to blend these edges of these two shadows together. That's really pretty. So now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush. And it's this more denser blending brush. And I want to deepen up the outer V just a little bit. Um, so I want to take the shade. Hmm. What shall we do? The shade Tonight. And it's this more deep mauvey well yeah deep purple not mauvey deep purple shade i'm going to take it on the side of the tip of the brush and what i want to do is um place it right there on the outer v but closer to the i am so sorry i did not zoom you guys in what a mess oh in the outer v closer to the lash line i'm just packing it then i'm not even in focus <laughs> What a morning. And then we're going to place it on the other eye in the same area. Closer to the lash line, but the outer V. On the tip of the side of the brush. And just lightly packing it in that area. So we can begin to blend. We're going to tap just a little bit more. And I'm lightly tapping it. And like an angle type motion. But more so on the lash line. <laughs> now we are going to wipe this off on our little makeup round. Because I don't want to apply any more while I'm blending the shade. But I'm going to use the same brush and lightly blend in circular motions going up towards the crease area. And you can see it's kind of fading a little bit because I didn't, didn't apply a whole lot. We're going to slowly build that shade up because I didn't want to just pack it 
on my outer V and then it takes over my crease shade. So I'm going to pack a little bit more, lightly pack it, and blend. Light, you want to lightly fluff it and blend it. And you can continue to lightly build and lightly pack until you get the payoff that you want. And you can see it's kind of slowly building up when I do it that way. Instead of just packing it all on my um, outer corner and then having to work extremely hard to, to blend it. So it works perfect for me doing it that way. Just like I said, you know, applying a light hand and just lightly blending until you get the build and deepness that you want in that outer V. And just continue to work both um, eyes. And I'm just continuing to blend in circular motions. Light circular motions. Again, I'm using the tip of the brush um, to blend. But I'm use, I use the side of the brush, the tip side of the brush to actually place it. And you want to always make sure what well, I do. Not you don't have to, but I always make sure. Again, I'm going to continue to say it that. I place most of it on my lash line so I can control when I blend upwards on the lid. It's coming together really good. And fallout is not a big deal for me. It's not a deal breaker for me with eyeshadows because I always do my um, base last anyways. I've tried the eyeshadow method first, but no, it just does not, <laughs> it's not, it doesn't work for me to do my base first. And I've seen people do it, and I applaud them, because your girl ain't there yet. So I'm just continuing to lightly build while I rumble, <laughs> just so you all are not just bored sitting here just watching me blend. I know I'm just talking too much too. So now we're just going to continue to blend these edges. And that's coming together really, really pretty. I like that. Really, really pretty. So now we're going to deepen that up just a tad bit more. We're going to take the matte black shade. I'm so close up. The last shade on the tip of the brush, just lightly dabbing it. And we're going to do the same thing with this shade, but leave it more so on this lash line. I'm just flicking it. Because I don't want to deepen this all the way up in the crease. I just want it more on this lash line so we can kind of fluff it on the outer V and not all the way up in the crease area. So now I'm going to lightly blend in circular motions. And we're doing the same thing for the other eye. This is so pretty coming together like for me. So now we're going to wipe this brush off with our little round. And just lightly blend our crease area. I'm all out of frame. Let's zoom out just a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Okay. I need to pull out my other camera that that my husband bought me for Christmas. I did something to it and took it down and have not put it back up since. But I'm going to definitely put it back up this weekend. I was able to see like my entire face and didn't have to do a whole lot of zooming in and out while I was out of focus. So I'm just still continuing to lightly blend these two shades together right in the area because you don't want that harshness from the black when you get ready to place your lid shade either because it will be very noticeable okay so now we are going to go in with our toothpaste <laughs> glitter glue and I know I've been faithful to this 
glitter glue because I've been meaning that I'm going to use this baby up. And I'm going to apply it on the back of my ring finger and place it right in the center, mostly on the center of the lid and packing. And I didn't want to go that far over, but we're just going to go back in with some more black if we need to. And then the same thing for the other eye. And just pack it. And I'm just making sure this lid is just, um, the base is placed on the lid. <laughs> In the mornings, I get so tongue twisted. But I'm trying, trying to keep this content going for you. Because I love it too. Now I want to go in with the, I'm going to go in with this, um, not going to fluffier brush. And what is it when I need it? Let's try this one. This MAC. This is not a MAC. It's a Morphe 503. And it's just this flat, fluffy brush. But I'm going to use it to apply my shimmer shade. I've been liking to do that too. Because to me, it gives it a more softer placement when you're using your shimmer shades. Which I love. Because to me, it blends like really, really easy. So I want to go in with the... Hmm. I want to keep it like really, really pretty. I want to go in with the shade. Uh, let's do on the edge. It's the fourth shade, shimmer shade on the third row. And I just like to pack my um, shadows really good on the side of the brush, the flat brush. I love to use a flat, fluffy brush. And then we're going to. Place it. Right most of it in the center, which I like to do. So I can control what goes in that inner corner. I'm going to do the same thing. The same shade. For the other eye. Pack it mostly in the center. And you can see how soft it looks. It doesn't look... Um, like it's harsh or anything with this brush because it's not like just packing it on there. And we're going to place some black back in there. So that is coming together super pretty. So now we're going to wipe off this brush with our little round. I keep these little things. And I bought them off Amazon. I think it came about 12 or so for a couple of bucks. I've had them for a while. And then the next shade I want to take is let's do the very top shade faithfully. It's really really light light baby pink glitter shade. Shimmer shade. And we're going to apply that place it right there going into the crease the inner corner up to the crease overlapping the middle shade. <laughs> So y'all excuse me in the mornings. When I'm rambling like this, just know it's like early in the morning. And my eyeshadows are the longest process in my makeup application. Because I'm funky when it comes to these eyeshadows. If they don't come out right, I'll wipe it off and, and don't go with anything on. <laughs> so now I'm going to lightly blend with this Morphe brush these edges in circular motions and fluff the two shades together where they meet but make sure the edges are blended it's a nice brush too and I think they have a sale if they still have it on some of these brushes I don't need any more but this is a nice brush I'm actually trying to go on a low buy I'm not even gonna say a low buy but a low blood low blood low buy <laughs> a low buy just so I can get some use out of a lot of these products I already have so I'm just I was just continuing to blend so now we're gonna go back in with the 
make you know what I'm gonna continue to use this brush this Morphe brush and we're gonna go back in with the two shades two deeper shades we use which is this plummy purple and this deep matte black and just tap it on the side tip of the brush and we're gonna place it back into the outer V just lightly placing it on that lash line like we did to begin with just right on that lash line on the outer V we're just placing it we're not blending it yet and I know much as I talk I hope I'm helping somebody <laughs> I'm hoping I'm helping somebody so we're just going to continue to place now we're going to do the norm again wipe off the brush the same brush we're going to use it again since we've already placed the shadow and now we're going to lightly fluff it with the tip of the brush into the shimmer shades because it kind of faded when we placed it and the same thing for the other eye and then the other thing about my other camera it has a built-in mic so I'll be trying to talk louder when I use this camera um, because I tend to talk really soft but I'm trying <laughs> to make sure you all hear me so if I seem extremely loud I'm just trying to make sure you all hear me until I get my other camera back up so I'm just still lightly blending with the tip of the brush and just light circular motions uh, and going from my V out of V to my uh, center of my eye and right up in that crease area so I'm liking that I think that should pretty much do it so now I'm going to go back in with the makeup shack 268 I'm not adding anything else I'm just making sure these edges are blended and whatever's left on this brush from the baby pink is gonna blend all these shadows together cool super cool so now I'm gonna go in with the um because we're about to wrap this look up I'm gonna go in with the I was looking for my Morphe brush so we're going to clean this brush off with our round, the um, Morphe Y17. And it still has a little pink residue on the tip of the brush, but that's fine. I think it's wiped off enough. I try not to <laughs> dirty up a whole lot of brushes. And then we're going to place it on the side of this brush, our Wet n Wild <laughs> Cream Brulee, to highlight and set this concealer under the brow bone. I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye. It's really pretty though. I like it. So now we're going to blend with the tip of the brush these two areas together. So you have this seamless, flawless blend. This is really pretty. I like this. So now we are going to take the makeup wipe and clean up under the eye area. And I like to do this because, like I, you know, I said a couple of times, you know, I have very, very sensitive eyes. So I am very particular about what goes near my eye area. Or I would not be wearing makeup that particular day. Because it would not allow me to. They'll be running so much. Okay, so. I do like that, but I do want to work on this black just a little bit more. Just a tad bit more, not too much. So we're going to go back in with this 
Makeup Geek Dawn Brush. And I feel like I want to add just a tad bit more of this purplish, deep plumish shade. Mm, and a tad bit of the black. And we're going to work it right on that outer V, right on that lash line. And then we're going to blend right up into this V area, really, really light. I just want to deepen it up just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. so pretty and I'm just blending like outwards a little bit to move that shade out just a little bit really really light I think this is pretty okay so this is the final eye look I love this pink it's really really soft pretty kind of like on a little soft pink deeper side but it is so pretty so I'm gonna do my norm I'm gonna go off camera finish the rest of my face and I will be back to show you guys my final look see you guys in a bit welcome back this is the final look I hope you guys like how this look turned out I do love the baby pink eyeshadow and you know the more I thought about it as I was doing my base this is like the perfect soft Valentine's Day look if you don't want your eyes to be too, too bold and dramatic, it's really soft, light pink with a little smoky on the outer V area of the eye. But I do like this pink. I think it's really, really perfect, like for any date night. But I do think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So, but I want what I did do with my lips. I wanted my lips a little bolder since my eyes were softer. But I did not go into any more of the shadows in this palette other than my lid when I went off camera. But for my inner corner, I did use this white highlight from the cream, the cream Shop and this Halo Lovely Omega palette. And I think this came in a boxy charm. And I used this white shade, just popped it in my inner corner and a little um, mascara on my lower lash lines. And it's perfect. Like I said, it's not too bold. It doesn't draw a lot of attention. It's like really soft, flirty type, glam. Really pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, now for my lips, I went in with my NYX light lip liner in the shade. What is the shade? Cabaret. And it's this mauve type color, deep burgundy mauve. And I wanted, like I said, a bolder lip because my eyes were so soft. And then I went in with my MAC. I want to say this is, okay, Viva Glam. It's an oldie but goodie. And it's a more fuchsia type shade. Um, I think, yeah, and it's the Taraji P. Henson uh, collab with MAC. And I love this shade. I've had it for a while and it still works really, really well. And I topped it with my... Essence Shine 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 Gloss in this light pink glittery shade. It's like more of a clear than anything. But this is in the shade Friends of Glamour. And I know I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> and it's Friends of Glamour. So that's what I did for my um my lips for my eyes. I just applied the last pair of lashes that were in this Amazon packaging. And it's some the cat cat eye style lashes which you know was another bonus to this eye look because you can actually see the lid when you wear cat eye lashes and I love cat eye lashes so I think all of this is perfect together like perfect together and for my blush I use my Becca blushed with light blush 2 palette and I use all three of these shades together and just lightly dabbed it on my cheekbone area and used them as a highlight as well 
So I do like how this look turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this look because I do think it's like, again, I say it's perfect for like Valentine's Day, date night, whatever this soft, nice glam. If you want, don't want anything over the top. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. How you, how, have you enjoyed this look? How you feel about this palette? If you have it, do you plan on purchasing it? Um, let me know your thoughts on it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.